Hi everyone, this is Ain from Metabox. Uh, today I'd like to show you the new interface uh, from Metabox Builder that we've been working on in recent months. So I have set up a new field group for event post type, which you can see on the screen. It has address, uh, date, gallery, uh, open street map field and a group uh, of two fields for speakers and I already set up it for like post type events so this is the existing the current UI of the Metabox Builder um, and what we doing now is like this so basically this is a whole new experience and a whole new interface that we've been working on uh, the main idea of this action is to provide the better user experience for users and so you can feel it more modern uh, and interact with all the settings of the mailbox which is a lot easier the first thing you can notice from this uh, interface is that is very similar to what you have in the block editor like the sidebar the the color scheme the layout like everything is very similar to what you have already in wordpress and that is the main point that we've been trying to do uh, since beginning of the middle box like the experience we want to bring to users uh, should be like seamlessly inside wordpress so people feel that this is a part of WordPress uh, is not like a separated product that is put inside WordPress like no fancy custom colors or no fancy custom layouts and like the weird elements from the UI perspective um, so let's take a look of uh, this new interface and see what it has and what is improved from the existing interface uh, you can see the layout first here uh, the header here is like we have some buttons so this is the add new field panel and this is the structure panel which you can see on the fields here I'm going to go into the details of each panel uh, later this is the field group title uh, which you can edit it and this is a uh, button and switch to drag button uh, on the right sidebar you have the location rooms uh, always open when you edit the field group um, so you don't have to switch between the fields and the field group settings so it can save you a few clicks uh, you can select on the rooms here and the post type here and for other settings um, we group them into the panels below uh, for example the settings for the position priority and style a uh, conditional logic custom table and on the advanced like settings so um, with our philosophy is that um, we want to put the basic things first uh, so users can see and work with this as fast as they can and for advanced things uh, they can see below inside other panels or inside other places so it doesn't uh, pollute the first screen or the first impression of what you have uh, but still give you all the powers uh, that you can edit or adjust or like do your own thing so um, this is for the few group settings and uh, on, on the, the main area is a live preview of all the fields I mean live preview which is what you edit here and what you see here is exactly what you what you see when you edit a post uh, for example when you uh, save this field group and you go to edit a, a post and you will see it shows exactly like what you have in the previous screen so the field uh, the preview and everything the button even the description and and that is 
a very uh, good point of what we trying to do this uh, in this version and the main thing is that um, you can edit all the settings and you can live review what it has on the main area for example the text uh, limiter when you remove it you don't see the notice of the text limit but when you enter it, it uh, you will see it here for the uh, appearance you can toggle the tooltip and enter the tooltip content and it will show the tooltip icon for example uh, enter your address here okay and you can change the icons for something else like the help icon and you can see the icon is changed uh, on the input description you can enter anything and it will show in live preview uh, also the placeholder the input size if you want it to be small large or full size uh, the text wrap like something like cd it will show at the beginning of the input or something like state at the end of the input but for this field i, I don't want to enter this uh, element uh, even for like interactive uh, fields like select uh, when you change the input here you can see it uh, it changed in the live preview for example uh, like london you can see it the first choice will be auto selected but you will, if you want to set up the placeholder you can see it like please select a city and you can show it as a like a placeholder for the select field uh, other fields like even very advanced field like select advanced you, you will see it here um, for example uh, I will add two more choices like uh, ABC DEF something like that you can allow to select multiple item or not and place either place this select an item and you can add toggle all button but toggle all is available for multiple items something like that so uh, the main idea of this version is that you can see exactly what you edit for the settings and you can see it in action uh, it allows a like save us a lot of time to trying to change uh, what you have and and what you want to provide to your customers to your clients to edit the content <clears throat> and similar to the few group settings we grouped advanced settings inside some panel so you don't be distracted by like by them first uh, but when you need them like conditional logic you can easily add the rule here uh, and it's very intuitive one thing that we improve in this uh, version is that we add a lot of like the context action to the field so previously when you uh, select a field you have the three dots here something like this a dot here and you add more action for the field like delete or clone or add a subfield to to a group but in this version you have a toolbar like here so you can insert a, a few before add a few after like add a few before checkbox list and the choice one two three and you can also add a few uh, after the like radio like one two something like that you can also duplicate a few easily and move them up and down uh, the action move up and down we get from a user so they suggest that when you have a long list of fields then drag and drop can be like it's not smooth uh, it's, it's not because of the library we use or the code we we do uh, what is the nature of the browser when we handle a lot of work inside the browser? So yes, of course you can drag and drop 
to sort all the things uh, and it's very like intuitive to do that with the group so you can drag a few outside of the group outside groups and it will show a placeholder so you can add a sub field here or drag uh, another field into this area to make it a sub field of that group uh, to also to improve this uh, experience you can also right click to add the field before after you duplicate move them uh, it's like a toolbar uh, previously but uh, when you don't want to use the toolbar you can use the right click they it has the same same thing like the same action like this uh, another thing that i want to show is that the the structure panel which is like in my opinion is very useful when you have a lot of view uh, and because when you have a lot of view like drag or drop all the fields into the correct position or um, add a few add a new field in a like correct position like maybe take some time you scroll you like find a field and you insert them uh, but with the structure panel you see a quick list of all the field you can sort them easily sort them like uh, inside that panel and the live preview will show them uh, and also you can change click on the field and edit the field settings something like that uh, you can also add action to the field like add a few before after or duplicate and everything is just similar to what you already have uh, even for grouped like you can move the fields inside or outside the the group and you, you can do everything inside this structure panel like that's why it's, it's called structure um, even if you clone the whole group all the subfields inside the group is cloned too uh, of course they will have different ID uh, to avoid duplicates or conflict uh, a good thing about this version also is the add new panel uh, where you can like for example you have a speaker uh, group here and you when you want to add a select view you can drag this the select view from the panel into that position uh, position and you can edit them um, the list of, of sub view here is also available for you for to search for example, you want to open stream map and you have it. Uh, in, in this version, we still like uh, keep on the add view button in like context place, like at the end of the list or inside a group, so you can like uh, add new view quickly. Uh, we still keep the like, live editing of the view name uh, from the previous version so you can just edit it here without opening the the field settings here so the name too or the topic too something like that you can edit that so uh basically this is the, an overview of the new uh, ui and uh version of the metabox builder um it is still new and it has some issues with the layouts or the code that we are still working on to improve the user experience uh, but we really like your feedback on this especially what you think like is best or is still like cumbersome or need to be improved uh, we appreciate all the feedback uh, even the small one like changing the text or typo or some like styling is like small details matters to us a lot and uh, if you can give us some feedback like this we really appreciate and also we would like you to to try it and test it with your like existing view group especially the complex one uh, because when changing on the interface we also work on a little bit of the data 
and uh, the data reliability is very important to us so uh, please try it and and let us see if you see anything like broken so we can fix it before releasing to to the public um, but right now we don't have the timeline for this uh, but we consider this the alpha version uh, because we still have a to-do list uh, of the issues that are still on uh, when we resolve it and we will release the beta version for you uh, to test so the beta version when the beta version is available we will put it on our website and uh, on our group and announce it uh, via newsletter so you guys can try it uh, in maybe staging or like development environment um, and when everything is fine we will release the the, like the main version the production version so you can use it uh, we, we hope that this uh, releasing cycle can eliminate a lot of the issues that may be in, uh, happens in in the future like because it it can like break things that we don't want to especially on the high traffic of very important websites that you already have for years um, the code for this version is available on GitHub, so you can visit it. We make the repository free, public, uh, since the launch of Metabox Lite. So you can download it uh, from the branches UI, and you can download it here. Just click the download zip, and it will give you the UI version. Uh, we already bundle all the things like uh, build the JavaScript and the CSS and all the vendor folder. So everything is available on GitHub. So just click download zip and you you can have the file like this. Uh, Metabox Builder dash UI. So you can try it on your uh, website and so please try it and let us know uh, in the comments on Facebook group or email us or reach out to me Anchan, on facebook or twitter we are like welcome all the feedback and appreciate your like your thoughts thank you very much